Hello and welcome to finally another episode of Anything Arduino. Today I am going to show you the how to work with the HD7881, which is one of the easiest uh, DC motor drivers uh, I've seen that can be used with, for example, the Arduino. Uh, and we're going to use this little PCB that you can buy on eBay or any place like that, which has two uh, HD7881 chips on it. And that is probably because that way you can, if you want, we're, I'm not going to go through that, drive a stepper motor with this. But I think it's more that it's supposed to be with those robotics kits that you can buy, uh, which usually has a pair of these motors, um, hobby motors with a gear inside and usually you can get wheels like this to it which really easy plugs in and your robot is halfway done so for these the HD7881 is really good it can also work with any of these uh, DC motors that you can either salvage from old stuff or buy as this uh, I also tried with this one also found on eBay with metal gears a really nice little motor and some of these motors uh, you will have to have either uh, you can on this 7881 uh, you can have uh, external power in which is to, uh, which I would recommend because the Arduino can't give that much power uh, but for some of the bigger motors you might need a bit more power, say a 9 volt battery, up to 12 volts. But not more than that because that's the limit of the 7881. And with that said, when you come to these kinds of motors, so this is a the motor from a cordless drill that I have uh, disassembled. Uh, and it's a 14.4 volt motor and when I tried to run this one with the 7881 and a 12 volt um, adapter I got some magic smoke coming out of the chip on this one uh, it, didn't, it didn't break so that's good but keep in mind that you can't drive two big motors with this little chip for that we need something else and as you can see I have something planned for this one and that's the end goal uh, where we will not get today so today we're just going to go through this one how simple it is to code to do code for this one and control motors in Arduino so let's look at the data sheet some code and how to hook this up let's go so let's start by looking at the data sheet for the HG7881. So that is the small IC on the PCB module, not the whole module. So if we look at this, we see that yeah, it's used for stuff that moves. Uh, wide supply voltage range from two and a half voltage about to ten volts. And this is probably why I got the magic smoke, because I was at 12 volts on a adapter that actually gave me 16 volts when I checked it with a multimeter. So that is probably one of the reasons. It has a built-in clamping diode and emergency stop function when both inputs are high, 11. And we'll look at that. And the inputs we have loads of power inputs and we have loads of ground two of each and besides those we have backwards output uh, forward output and backward input and forward input um, and there's a truth table for those that if forward is high and backwards is low then forwards is high and backwards is low so that is obvious and the opposite is also applies if both are high that is the one one said over here then the, uh, we there's a break function 
and also low low then it's open so then there's no force on the motor at all and it's quite easy to turn it with your hand as easy as if it was had no power at all and then there's all those other maximum ratings electrical characteristics we're not gonna look at that enough rambling let's do some code I like it when you can use the basic sketches the example sketches so actually this will work with the fade sketch we just need to make some changes so instead of LED we can say it's a motor instead of brightness it is speed motor speed and fade amount should be acceleration maybe and as you can see I've just changed all the the variables to the new names so what we'll do here we do a digital right motor backwards pin to low to connect this we connect 5 volts and ground like so that is green and yellow I'll try to keep my hand away ground was yellow and green was plus 5 volts and then we take so we said pin 9 and 10 pin 9 and 10 those two there and we connect those to whichever pins that really doesn't matter it is one will be forward and one will be backwards and we do it on this side if we do it on that side it's for the other chip and that is it so if we upload this sketch all right we have an error i forgot to do the LED motor forward. I forgot the motor pin forward and motor pin backwards instead of the LED. I got to fix that. So now we've uploaded the sketch and it's on there and the output from one of the screw terminals we just add to the motor like so and immediately it starts accelerating and decelerating here I just uh, switch direction by setting the backwards input to high from low to high and then it starts to go the other way around instead and I just add that pin to plus 5 volts and as we can see this works with other motors should work this was a bit hard to see I think but yeah you can see it moving So let's see if this one works. So this is just a salvage motor. And that one also works. So that's how you connect it. Quickly and easily. So I want to show another test as well. So this is the same thing. Here we have this is code I took from one of the online examples and deleted everything and remade everything. So this is just the name of the pins, it's PWM and direction, which 
isn't really true in this example. I just want to show you here that you can write an analog analog write a PWM value to one pin and another to the second pin and the final outcome uh, speed that we you will get is the difference between those two pins so here we will have quite a slow speed of 64 because 64 uh, or 128 minus 64 is 64 here you will have double speed at 128 because that's the difference there and here you will have almost maximum speed in the opposite direction of whichever direction you're using up here because the values are turned between the pins so let's upload this one uh, and you can see that as well and this is just to show that to call one pin direction is wrong because one is backwards and one is forward but both both ways work of course so whichever way you want to do it so here's slow bit faster and really fast in the opposite direction slow half speed and full speed in the other direction and when it's really slow it's uh, sometimes a bit hard for it to start yeah so just two PWM pins and that is how simple it is to work with motors with this motor driver and this is how simple it is to control motors with the Arduino and the HD7881 or the L9110 which is another name for the same circuit so with that said uh, there will be more uh, videos about motors because I really need to get this one going uh, and I have a few ideas still left even though this one didn't work uh, and if you want to buy one of these you can use the link in the description it is costs 99 cents I believe on eBay uh, from my favorite seller uh, also I'd like to say thank you to my supporters over on patreon uh, and if you'd like you can go over there and see there are s some other type of content over there uh, and also the same content as here but a bit more over there for my supporters and with that said I hope you like this video uh, that you subscribe and press the like button and do all that stuff and I'll see you in the next episode take care bye <laughs>